Ali Azira, 22nd of February 2023, as the US-China rivalry escalates, Australia's spy head warns about espionage. The country's intelligence chief has warned that espionage and foreign interference operations targeting Australia have been motivated by a thirst for covert information. The Indo-Pacific region is experiencing great power competition between China and the Allied powers led by the United States. According to Mike Burgess, the Director General of the Australian Security Intelligence Organization ASIO, Australia faces unprecedented threats, and foreign agents are targeting more Aussies than ever. Burgess stated that Australia is a target for intelligence actors from within and outside the region who want to advance their interests and undermine Australia's due to the power of the United States, our primary ally, being challenged by the rise of China, as well as territorial disputes in the South China Sea, the Taiwan Strait, and the Korean Peninsula. In his annual threat evaluation for Australia, the ASIO director stated that the variety of countries conducting espionage will surprise you. He claimed they use espionage to secretly comprehend and impact Australia's politics, decision-making, partnerships, alliances, and economic and policy objectives. Judges, media analysts, and journalists are among the Aussies targeted by foreign intelligence operations, according to Burgess, who noted that a small number of judicial figures have been the target of suspicious approaches. According to what ASIO is observing, he said, more hostile foreign intelligence services, more spies, more targets, and more damage are being done to Australians than ever before. It feels like hand-to-hand -hand fighting from where I'm sitting. Bound behind our backs with one hand. He continued, members of diaspora groups are being monitored, threatened, and even harmed by foreign interference operations. He pointed out that since September 2021, when US President Joe Biden, the then Prime Minister of the United Kingdom, Boris Johnson, and the former Prime Minister of Australia, Scott Morrison, announced a three-way agreement known as AUKUS to provide Australia with a fleet of submarines powered by US nuclear technology. According to Burgess, our allies need to know that we can maintain our secrets as we advance AUKUS. Burgess states, third-party companies have promised Australians hundreds of thousands of dollars and other sizable benefits to help authoritarian regimes better their fighting abilities. He claimed that while, in some instances, officials were able to prevent those with military experience from traveling abroad to conduct training, in some other cases, legal ambiguities made it more difficult for law enforcement to take action. Richard Marlis, Australia's defence minister, recently declared that Canberra would tighten the law to forbid retired Australian security service personnel from imparting their knowledge to foreign governments. Defence officials from Australia, Canada, and the UK have all recently expressed concern over China's alleged effort to steal military skills like fighter jet pilots. An indictment alleges that former US Marine Corps pilot Daniel Duggan conspired with others to train Chinese pilots in 2010 and 2012. Washington is presently trying to extradite Daniel Duggan from Australia.